Hey guys, it's Lynn and today we are doing something a little bit different. It is another unboxing and you guys know I love my unboxings, but this is a little bit special because this is for my kiddo. This is for my three and a half year old. This is called Koala Crate and it is a subscription box specifically for kids. Um, they do have a promo going on. I don't know how much longer it goes for. I will leave the details down below. So be sure to check that out. Um, right now they are giving them away free. But what they consider free means you still pay $5 shipping. So, that being said, it's still a pretty good deal. I believe this is normally $20 bucks a month. Um, you are signed up for a subscription, but you can cancel at any time. Um, I initially was just going to review this one, but now looking at it, there's some pretty interesting stuff in there, so I might stick with it. Well, we shall have to see. But without further ado, I will open it up and I will show you what's in there. Again, this is for th three to four-year-olds, but I think older kids and probably slightly younger kids but not by much but I think older kids would still get a kick out of it too especially if you have siblings or whatever they could help each other do it so it comes like this it comes in like a little cardboard fake crate thing which is really cute and I've scribbled our address off there for obvious reasons but um <laughs> it actually comes addressed to the child which I like and if I'm a little bit out of breath today guys it's because I am really really other under the weather so I do apologize for that Okay, you open the box, and the first thing that I wanted to share with you is this. It is a little booklet by Highlights, and this one just says the theme is colors. And there's all kinds of different activities in here. There's stories to read to your kids. There's poems. Let's see. What's back here? There's a little dance that they can do. Um, little pictures. Little pictures. Really cute. Um... All kinds of different activities, coloring activities, find the shape activities, um, what else? Maze. There's actually a oh, three in one maze right there, which oh, it doesn't look too difficult. I think with some help, my three year old could definitely do it. And let's see, some more find it, some crayons, and a little poem at the end. And I remember getting highlights as a kid, and it was one of my favorite magazines, and I actually remember looking at old ones in the doctor's office, so this is kind of a little blast from the past for me, but that is kind of cool. This is just the little booklet that comes with it, and it's going to go through your activities with you, and there's usually two to three to four activities, I think. This Again, this is my first box, so you guys will have to forgive me, and on each one, it lets you know how messy it's going to be, and it lets you know how much grown-up involvement there needs to be, and obviously you want to be involved as much as possible but you want to nurture independence as well so um the only one really really messy on this one is this middle activity you can see it's way up there hi and let me see if i can show you that a little bit better high on the scale of messiness and medium on the scale of grown-up interaction or involvement but still something obviously you want to uh work with them on all of this because if they're three to four Trust me. <laughs> All right, I will go activity by activity really briefly and kind of show you what's in there. The activity number one you're going to be doing is a scavenger hunt, and they give you just this little foam. Um, it's actually got a little bell in it, so I think my one-year-old will like it when we're done. But this little foam block, really easy, won't hurt you. And you're supposed to roll the dice, and they give you... Where is it? Okay. They give you these little color papers to work with as well. I'm going to go ahead and take those out. So you can find different color papers to work with. And depending on what, let's say you rolled a red, you would, your kid would have to go find a red item from inside the house. And I think that's really cool and it inspires creativity. So another activity they said you could do, which I just kind of inadvertently did, is you can um, practice putting these papers over one another and showing them how, you know, blue and yellow make green, etc., etc., etc. So I think that is a really fun and cute idea. And while it could be really easy duplic easily duplicated, one of the things I am looking in for in here is creativity and generating ideas on what to do with a three-year-old because... He's had some behavioral issues, and we think it's because of boredom, because he's too smart for my own good. So we are trying to think up fun games and stuff to do with him. So I think this will definitely, definitely be good for him. Oh, that's a pukey green right there. Okay. 
Activity number two is the watercolor banner. And what it's going to do is it provide, it's provided a string and little um, triangular things for your child to color or paint. It's provided crayons, um, some watercolors, which if your kid is like my kid, these things go really quick and you have to buy the really cheap ones because they pretty much turn them all brown within the first time of using them. However, he loves these, so I'm definitely not complaining. Um, the crayons are a jumbo and you get eight of them, so that's pretty cool. We have lots of crayons, but we could always use more. And again, this is something that you could probably easily make yourself with a hole punch and some string and some heavy duty paper. This is, looks like good paper, let's see. Pretty heavy duty. I would say a nice poster board, but um, again, part of the um, benefit of this is for the creativity factor, and this is something we have Thanksgiving coming up. This is something he'll definitely enjoy doing, so either for Thanksgiving or Christmas, we will be making decorations for sure. He is such an artsy little guy. I think this is awesome. The final activity is color explorations, and again, it's just using these squares. And basically what you do is, just like I was saying, you show them that different colors make different things. So, for example, let's see. For example, red and orange, or red and, excuse me, red and yellow make orange. Um, and so that's kind of interesting. In the and I'm not sure if this last activity is just a bonus or if it's um, an extra full on extra activity or what, but it just basically is a fine in color game. And you use your crayons and you use this um, color pad that they gave you and you use your little um, dye thing or your little foam pad thing. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah. It was this little guy and they pick, so they have to find the green. So you would go red, orange, yellow, green. And so then they could color the tree. And I think that is another super cool little thing. He likes coloring pictures. He's not terribly good at it, but um, again, I think if we match the crayon to the shape, it would definitely, you know, help out. And then this is one where he can color yellow and then red, so he can see that yellow and red make orange. Um, blue and yellow obviously make green. And red and blue obviously make purple, we know that because we're grown-ups, but it's a good teaching tool for little kids. Okay guys, so that is everything in the box. Um, so you get, well, I would say three completely different activities because one of them uses the same uh, little color squares over and over again. So I would say you get three fully different things. Um, this is usually $20 a month and, you know, while I could duplicate probably 90% of this at home without much real trouble, I wouldn't have thought to do it because I'm tired, I have two kids. You know, I don't, unfortunately, I'm not a Pinterest mom and I'm sad to say that because I had hoped that I would be, but um, that is not the case. So this is something that would help somebody like me do some fun and creative activities with my kids. So this is something I might be sticking with. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I will shoot you the link down below. You can check out Koala Crate or they have different crates for each age group. I think it goes three to four, five to eight, eight to 12, and then up. <laughs> I'm not sure after that. Um, so if it's something you're interested, definitely check it out. And either way, let me know if you enjoyed this type of unboxing, this type of video. Um, comment, subscribe, check me out on social media. I will be sure and try and relay any more free boxes or deals that I see come up. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.